Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here. And we are back in Timberborn. Trying to figure out what we can do here. Uh, we've got 13.7 days. And I've been looking at the map. Been trying to figure out what we, what we can do to maybe salvage stuff. I don't know. Um, I need to get I need to get one of these other forest areas back up and running. It's what I need to do. Uh, the problem with that is we've got to wall it all off in order to get stuff going. We've got a little bit of wood right now, not a lot. Oh, that reminds me. Um, I was reading comments and one of the comments was talking about how I went around this little section and all that. Uh, the reason why I went around the section is there is a water source right there. And the reason I went around this section is there's also another little water source right back there. So the, uh, the map maker did an excellent job of hiding these little water sources in places that prevent easy, easy access. Cause you know, like you can see over here. If I would have built down, that would have been one, two, three blocks versus one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, I could have had half the blocks right here. And then I would have had the land that all of those blocks sat on as well, extra. But, you know, there there is a water block there. So nothing, nothing I can do about that. We can't cover them up. We can't blow them up. We can't, you know, do anything else. Um, I'm thinking that... I need, I need to get, uh, I need to get this area dry. If I can get it dry, even if it's, I don't know if I can get it dry long enough to get done what I need to get done. That's, that's the problem, um, is I don't know if I can get it done. Uh... I'm I'm looking here. I'm trying to figure out how how or what we can do here. So, uh, one of the comments I just read, like just a second ago, was talking about maybe walling this off and getting that to you know dump out of the map. Um, once again, that defeats the purpose of the challenge that I said I would take on. Um, 100% doable. I mean, all I would have to do is run a path over here, hop over, run a path over here, destroy a block, you know, get over here, get to where the beavers could build, build a set of levees right here in front of it, and then the water would raise up and half the water going in, half the water going out. Um, so that would be a feasible idea, but like I said before, I'm viewing this as this is a water world. There is no edge of the map. Um, I'm pretending that the map doesn't exist. The water's coming in, but due to limitations of the game, we have to have the source. So we do have the source, but you know, I'm looking at it as strictly a water world type map to give it that extra extra challenge that extra um headache <laughs> that that extra fun i guess you could call it i don't know i don't know are we calling it fun at this point uh this thing it no nah, I'm, I'm enjoying it i really am so challenges are fun especially trying to figure out the best way to overcome them i thought i was gonna have a decent shot when i got the two the two extra fields or the tr tree farms going um, I think if we do this, if we do this one again, I need to get foresters in this area and this area quicker. Um, I don't even need to worry about, you know, if the building floods, the building floods, get them over there, get trees growing as fast as possible. And then on top of that, um, 
you know, like I said, if it floods, it floods, but try to get as many harvest out of it as possible. And I would think that if I could get a good pine forest on one side, and even if I had like a little small 20 by 30 maple uh, farm, that's a lot of, that's a lot of, a lot of, a uh, lot of logs. Like 20 maple trees would be what, 160? And yeah, that would, that would most definitely get a lot of stuff done. But anyway, so I'm going to shoot for trying to wall this off. And then we're going to try to pump out the water that's in here. So let me see. We've got, we've got all of that side walled. Yes. Okay. So all of that's walled off. Uh, we're just above that one block spot here. Let me come back in with a couple of platforms here. And then I'm going to put a couple pumps up here. So that's, that's where we're going to take everything right now. Um, I don't know if it's going to work. I really don't. It 10 to one, it's not going to work, you know, well, I'll get, I'll get this sealed off. We'll get the water pumped out, but I don't think we're going to have enough time to grow anything. So and even if I were to come down here, let's see, what is this, a pine? So we've got two logs, four logs, six logs. Yeah, we've got we've got a total of six logs here. These trees, that's a chestnut. So we've got four, four, so we've got 12, 13, 14 logs there. Yeah, that's, that's not going to do us a whole lot of good. So maybe... I can build up and over and we can access some of these because there's a couple, well, there's a maple, birch, couple pine, I don't know. I don't know if this would be enough to warrant it or not. We'll see. We'll see what happens. First off, we've got to get through this though. But anyway, yeah, there's a couple of things I am going to make changes on. Oh, and guys, if any of y'all have a map or have played a map, made a map, want to design a map, I don't care, um, for me to play on, let me know. Uh, I'm always up for a challenge and, you know, if you've come across anything that you think would be fun, you think I might enjoy, you know, let me know about it and I'll always take a look at it and see what we got going. Okay, why are we not... Okay, because we can't get the stuff. You know, I think I'm going to delete this one right here. And we're just going to go ahead and save that. That way they can walk along this and finish that out. Alright, well, we're still just barely above it. How are we doing on our trees down here? 71%, 82%, 1%. Uh, okay, so that one must have just been harvested. 95, 59, 43, 89. Yeah, we've got, we've got trees in various stages of growth throughout this whole thing. Yep, 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 yep. And I think next time we'll do potatoes instead of sunflowers. Even though we're having to run a grill and use up uh, use up wood for the grill, I think we're getting a better return on our food. And yeah, that would keep us keep us a little bit more fed. In fact, I think if I had a, a decent sized potato field, like I think because we have some berries right now, I'm wondering a decent sized potato field if like this little area right here, I wonder if I could have turned that into, you know, a maple forest or even, even if it was just chestnuts, you know, something, I don't know. Chestnuts to me are kind of that weird in between because it's like you got 
it's the same number as the pine. I really wish they would adjust the chestnuts, either the growth, you know, reduce it by a day, or increase the logs it gives by one. That way, you know, it's a little bit better than just a pine. You know, whether it be time or it, you know, be an amount. Just a small adjustment there I think would be pretty good. Pretty nice. All right. Well, we are eight days left of the drought. We're still just right... We're just right there, just that water's just almost almost gone. Actually, no, it is gone. Yeah, it is dropped, hasn't it? Haha. -ha. We are down below. Now all we got to do is finish walling this off. Come on, trees. There we go. Trees are growing in. Get those trees cut. Get that wood over here. Get this stuff built. The sooner we get this built, the sooner we can start pumping, and maybe, maybe I can get something to grow. I don't know. Uh, I really do not know if if we're gonna even have time to get anything to grow. So, part of me says maybe I should throw in a small birch field over here, and you know let the let it just grow so that we get a handful of logs, but. At the same time, birch only being one log per spot for nine days. I don't think our water is going to be low enough. So I really don't think this is going to work. But it is it is my last shot here. So that's all we got. Um, you know, I'm, I appreciate y'all's enthusiasm, but... It would help if we had this, like, sealed up first. It really would. Can I? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see here. What are these? Pine, pine, pine. Maple. So that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Do I even have... I don't even know if I have a lumberjack that would... No, he wouldn't even reach. Uh-uh. Nope, I was about to say, maybe if I could get down to some of this other other forest, but no, we don't... <sighs> that'd be a waste of a log because I'd have to build a platform. I'd have to add another logger over there. By the time I got it done, we'd get like two logs out of the deal. You no, know, at least we have a handful of trees coming into play. Don't know if it's going to be enough, but they're getting a little bit further. So we are down to four blocks, four blocks, and we'll have this sealed off. And we've got 5.5 .5 days of the drought left, yeah. See, I don't even think, even if we plant trees, unless we have like a super, super short wet season, like the shortest wet season possible, and then we have the longest dry season afterwards, I still don't know if we'll have enough to, to do anything, because I'm going to have to pump out of here constantly just to get anything. Were we down to three more blocks? Yeah, three more blocks. Five days, three blocks. Got a couple trees growing over there still. Two blocks left.
One block left. One left. That's all we got is just one. We got one block left and we got a handful of trees coming in. If we can get the one block done and then get the pump, we can at least try. All right, we are sealed off. What, which unconnected building? Oh, that one. Oh, are you actually registering that? You're not like, it's flooded though. Yay, we got a pump. Disable this pump. Somebody, anybody, a beaver. Come pump, come pump water from over here. Uh, three days left to pump that dry. Yeah, I think it's, don't think it's going to happen. Yep, we're going to turn off those pumps. We're going to run it off of this. That way we can drain and drink as much water from here as we can. And we got a handful of logs. I think... I think what we need to do is delete that. Actually, we're probably going to need to delete several of these roads. Okay, let's see what happens. 2.4 days left. I'm still wondering, I know not everybody has watched the video at yesterday's video at the point of where I'm recording this, but I'm still wondering if I should go less wet or more drought or both. I don't know. Part of me likes a longer, a longer variation. What I might do, and I think I said this in yesterday's video, uh, what I might do is I might lower the wet season on the low end so that we might end up with that occasional short wet season, but still have the ability to have that long wet season uh, every once in a while. And wonder, you know, like I said, it's an RNG balance. I don't know. I don't know if I dropped it from eight days down to six how how much that would do i mean two days worth of water flow is a lot of water flow uh but having it still have that long that longer um uh, longer wet season that still having the possibility of that longer wet season is what you know throws you for the loop there 
like I said, it's all RNG, and we are in roughly half a day left before the water, and we are still not even, we're still not even, a, well, barely a third of the way pumped out. And it seems like the pumps are just constantly running. We're filling up containers. The beavers are drinking. Uh, yeah, I don't see it. I don't see it happening. Do not see it happening, unfortunately. And the drought has ended, and the water returns. So, and I did do this on purpose because I knew that it took, it was like, what, 16 blocks, I think, to block this off. 16 blocks wouldn't have done nothing on the main city, so. Yeah, that's already, <laughs> we're already losing Losing, uh, losing ground out there. It's, it's not going to be long. So I doubt we're going to get that drained all the way down, but it was a fun run though. I did enjoy it. I hope you all enjoyed it. So I think I learned a lot on this playthrough. Um, more aggression, more trees, more growing, uh, yeah. So I think if we would have had at least this area sealed off with one block the first time it flooded and we could have extended the life of the trees in here and gained, you know, that much more we probably could have been working on our third third section of wall. I don't want to say we would have had it finished, but I do think we could have at least had part of it built. And who knows, I might have even had a chance to grow some better trees at that point. Uh, cause yeah, it's been probably a good, well, I mean, we grew the first set of trees at 12 days and we went through an entire cycle. Now we're through another cycle. Yeah, we probably, we might have even be, been able to get a, uh, get a maple done by now. So, good things to know for next time, though. But yeah, that's, <laughs> we're about to get overtaken. Yeah, we're still two steps, two steps up. All right, well, and we do know that for a area that size that two pumps is not enough to pump it down uh, in less than three days. So two pumps just don't have the ability to get that done. A third pump might have, but then again, I think we're also leaking right here. I think we are. I think we're leaking water right there. I didn't even see that. I think we're leaking water right there. And I'm not sure if we're leaking that spot or not. No, but we are leaking over here as well. I can see it now. Yeah, so each one of those corners would have had to been filled up. So yeah, we're we're fighting fighting a losing battle. Yeah, we just didn't have enough. So even if I had that sealed up, that corner right there would have still leaked. So I would have had to have that. Yeah. We just didn't have enough for that one. You're leaking. Yeah, every... Okay, so each one of the... Man, but it touches... It touches... 
I wonder how much water actually leaks through those corners. Looks like it's more than enough, but yeah, that's we would have had to have that one too. Okay. <sighs> well, not that it matters, but there's the water over overflowing the uh, the levees again. Yeah, we just don't have enough. We don't even have enough trees coming in right now for it. There's a couple. Yeah, they're still working down there. And it overflows. Okay, well, we lost that one. All right, guys, well, I'm going to pause it here, and I'm going to let it run for a little bit. Um, I'm going to see if it overtakes us. If, you know, if it doesn't, then it doesn't, but we'll see what happens here. So I don't think we're going to get a short, wet season, but you never know. We might. So give me a second. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back, and guess what? We have an incoming drought. 1.6 days left until a drought hits. And we are right at the edge. Um, <laughs> I do not know if... I don't know if it's going to uh, overflow or not. Or if it's going to go into the next, the next season. I have no clue on this one. So we're going to kind of just sit here and we're going to wait and we're going to see what happens. Uh, we've got food stocked up. I've got water stocked up at the moment. I mean, and, and that's the, well, I say that's the thing. I was going to say that if it floods, we could technically live for a little bit. But, yeah, I, all of our all of our food piles are down low. So, we'll see. We've got 0.9 days. And we've got that much. That much. we got the thickness of that trim board holding the water back on all sides of our map and I did start building up some of the uh, some of the blocks over here but as you can see we didn't get too many we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we've got basically that's what we would have got out of the blocks that we put over here because I had like 16, 17, 18. Yeah, we had about 18, 19 blocks that we placed over there. So even if I had that on the wall, that would still probably in the wall like right here. So look, we got a 13 day drought. <laughs> 13 days of a drought. It, it's the game so teasing me. It is such a tease. Oh, it is such a tease. It's... I don't even know what to say right now. I mean, 13 days is enough for this whole tree farm to grow again. Um, man, the, this, is, this is a rough one. This is most definitely a rough one. I'm, I'm debating how to how to play this one out here uh it's not enough to lower the water by a full block which means no matter what this area stays flooded we don't have enough trees to get through this So frustrating. It is so, so frustrating. I'm just like, Urgh. do we even have any? Yeah, I don't know. All right, guys. Well, I guess I'm going to let it run again. I'm going to let it run. Um, 
there's literally nothing I can do at this moment other than let it run. I'll put down, you know, I'll put down some more blocks over here. We'll get some more blocks over there and we'll just see, we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see how far we get with things and then I'll bring y'all back here in just a moment. Okay, guys, so it went longer than I thought it was going to go. That is for sure. Um, but we're right here at the edge. So we were able to get it built up to here. I was able to get it built up to here. As you can see, the water is about to crest over. Oh, it's actually cresting over on these little parts. Where is it going to flood in first? The poor beavers. The poor beavers. It is so, so close. We just don't have, we just don't have the trees to do it. We just don't have the trees. Like I said, even if I wouldn't have spent all that extra over there, we still wouldn't have been able to save it. So, not this time around. No, 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 no. I keep waiting. It's going to do it. It's going to spill over. I'm just curious to see which side it spills over first. Any second now, it's suspenseful. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, yeah, okay. So it did spill over this side first for whatever reason, but... It was only a fraction of a second later, and it spilled over on this side. So, well, there you go, guys. The Beaver City is flooding. We have lost. All right, well, tomorrow we'll start a new one, and we'll go from there. But anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. Guys, I'd like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said... Until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.